you guys. I'm finally on my bike doing a Swift session after being at the Swift event uh, in uh, the cycling shop Willow City. Um, and as I told you earlier in the in this episode, I was thinking to do a short session of Q&A, uh, partly with uh, questions the viewers have been asking, and partly some questions I have come up with by myself. Uh, my age is 49, I'm turning 50 uh, next year. I'm living in Norway, in Oslo. Uh, I am currently divorced uh, and have two kids. And uh, my profession or trade is, um, I have a law degree from the university and I used to be a lawyer, had my own law firm, but nowadays I am an employee in the municipality of Oslo as a legal advisor. Um, and uh, Doily Burger have asked me when I started to ride or for, for how many rides how many years I have been riding. Uh, my, I started riding again uh, in 2011 after being a, a couch potato for quite some time. I used to do, uh, I used to ride mountain bikes back in the early 90s. Uh, for uh, three or four years, uh, but then all my time went to my business and, and to work, so it was quite a long time without riding uh, bikes. But as I said, I started again in 2011 and uh, uh, mainly to get more fit and get rid of some some extra weight, uh, which I have partially succeeded with. Uh, my weight is going up and down a bit, so I need to work more on my nutrition, which I'm going to make an episode later. Um, my goals for 2017 is as I said, I, I'm, I have to lose some weight. Uh, my goal is to lose 15 kilos. And uh, I, I'm also planning to do a, a longer race. The longest one day race in, here in Norway uh, for 500 40 Ks uh, and uh, uh, as well as I'm going to try to set personal records in uh, all of the races I'm taking part in. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, hashtag mind the rat Warren also asked me if I'm going to. Tour de France this year, not not in a team, but to to as a spectator, and I would love to. Uh, I might be able to do uh, for some days, four or five days, uh, but I can't decide on that yet. I have to wait a little bit uh, out in the uh, spring. Uh, but I'm also going to, I'm planning to go to Bergen 
on the west coast of Norway to watch the World Championships this year and I'm planning a trip for uh, down to uh, Portugal or Bari uh, for a week and I'm going to do the gathering again in the autumn. Lastly, uh, many of you have been asking me about my bike and what I think about uh, this Cannondale Super 6 which I bought second hand after my bikes were stolen uh, this summer. Uh, as many of you have possibly noticed this, this is not an EVO Super 6 EVO, it's an ordinary Super 6 2014 uh, and I'm quite happy with it. It, it is completely with uh, Shimano Integra and I have some deep carbon rims Norwegian wheel set from Unos which I'm quite happy with as well. They are pretty light, around 1400 grams and, uh, and very stiff. This is also the case for the bottom bracket area in on the frame, so I like this bike a lot. I went for a smaller size than I usually do. Uh, this is a 54, I usually do 56, but my proportions are a little bit out of the ordinary. I have quite short legs and long arms and upper body, so I just put on a longer stem and, and uh, now the fit is quite good and I like this smaller frame. So I might do a more comprehensive uh, uh, review uh, in a later episode. Uh, but as this is a 2014, I'm, I'm not sure that this is of much interest. If so, please say so in the comments below. Uh, Yep, yeah, that's all for today, I guess. Uh, I would love to do another Q&A uh, later if you have more questions. But these were the questions uh, I could think of and that others, other viewers have been asking me uh, in some of the comments in my earlier episodes. Last question. Uh, I have been asked how the racing scene is here in Norway. Uh, it's quite uh, different from the racing scene. I, I have uh, um, experienced from your videos uh, in the US and in the UK and in Australia. Uh, we do not have any crit races here in Norway, uh, but all the races tend to be more endurance based, long distance uh, races and some of them are really popular with uh, like a team time trial laser races, team uh, of 20 to, 20 to 30 riders. Uh, and the races are between 120 to 200 uh, k's normally and as I said earlier the longest race is uh, one day race is 540 k's and, uh, and this is the race I hope to be part of in June 2017 I'm going to probably ride with my old team and uh, the goal is to do the race within 15 or 17 hours I don't know if I'm going to be part of the 15 hour team or the 17 hour team but that will be clarified 
during the spring, I guess. Uh, it depends on how much I have been able to train in Swift and on my trainer this winter. So uh, that was all, folks. Uh, I would love to answer any other questions if you have one. Uh, so please put your questions in the uh, comments below, and I'll, I'll I will be able to do a follow-up uh, episode with uh, more Q and A. And now I have to head along for some time to get rid of uh, excess body weight.